morning. Good morning. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning. Good morning, Devin. So before we start our good mornings, I missed a birthday. I missed Eleanor's birthday. Oh, no. so sorry. Yeah. But I think that we're that's all okay. we're all gonna sing happy birthday to you right now, if that's okay. Is that all right? Okay. Is that okay with you, Eleanor? All right. All right. All right. Um yeah, it is fun. Okay, so I would like everyone at one, two, three to sing happy birthday to Eleanor. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like to take a little bow for your birthday? You know what that means? <laughs> All right. Happy birthday. So don't forget, next week when I come to your house, I'll be bringing you a birthday lunch, okay? Okay. Think about what you want, but I have a feeling it might be Taco Bell. <laughs> That's your fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <I'll> <laughs> All right, let's start with our good mornings. Andrew. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, good morning Andrew. Andrew. Come on, people, where's your participation? Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Andrew. Thank you. And now we have Sue. Good morning, Sue. Hi, everybody. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Hi, Sue. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Sue. Thank you. Devin. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Devin. Good morning, Devin. We have Royce. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Royce. Good morning, Royce. Good morning, Royce. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Sam. Good morning. Good morning, Sam. Tyler. Good morning, everyone. Hello, Tyler. Good morning, 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 Tyler. And Jordan. Jordan. I can't hear you. Can't hear you, Jordan. Do the unplug and then plug back in. Looks like she's got a different um, earplug microphone today. Yeah. Summer. Mm. Can't hear you, Jordan. Let's say good morning to Jordan. Good morning, good morning. Jordan. Good morning, good morning Jordan. Jordan. Good morning. Okay, we're trying to sit still and not stretch, and, right? Good morning, Eleanor. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Eleanor. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning Eleanor. One. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Good morning, Yvonne. Good morning. Good morning, Yvonne. There we go. We have John. Good morning. Hello, John. John. Good morning, John. Good morning, John. John. <laughs> Morning. Stephon, say good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Stephon. 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 Extra little boost this morning, so let's give him our warmest good morning ever. Are you ready? Good morning, Good morning, Stephon. Good morning, Stephon. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Stephon. Stephon. Happy that you're with us today. Good morning, Stephon. Yeah. And Clad. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Good morning, Good morning Clad. Thank you. Thank you. 
You have to unmute. Party. Give us Hi, a little Jonathan. Good morning. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Jonathan. And Natasha. Are you froze, Good Natasha? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Natasha. Okay. So now we got to go from this great good morning to we got to talk, people. Okay. For some reason, when I'm not in the meetings, you continually like to talk over each other, not listen to each other, right? If you're talking over people, are you actively listening to what they have to say? No. No. Not. I understand it's kind of fun to have conversations where everyone's just getting in there, but everything in this class has to be based around even fun conversations, how you can have them professionally. Okay? So, so far I haven't done our strikes, but I'm going to have to start. Okay, so if you get three strikes for the same thing, for example, <coughs> talking over people, it's going to be a write-up. If you walk, <coughs> can you hear me? Jordan, can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, I switched from the computer so I could hear, so you guys could hear me better. Okay, so I was just saying we're going to have to start doing strikes. For one, people talking over each other, people chatting when they're not supposed to, and Jordan, people walking out of meetings in the middle of a meeting. Okay? You did it again yesterday. You had your own. Okay? I, I'm, we can't play anymore. We're not like in our first week of school. Okay? It's disrespectful. I have people complain to me after each time that I'm not in a meeting, that people are talking over them. Okay? It's not okay. You have to listen to each other and give everyone a chance to talk. Okay? Sometimes it takes people an extra second to get their words out, but their words are just as important as everyone else's words. Okay? <coughs> All right. So strike stop. And if you get three write-ups, that means we're going to sit down with your parents on Zoom and we're going to have a good talk. Okay? I want to be positive, but you have to prove yourself as adults so I don't have to treat you like kids, okay? Because I really like to be able to handle it just between us because you are adults. But I don't know how many times I can say the same thing over and over, okay? So I'm done with that, but it's a talk that had to happen, all right? So um, did everyone get the class assignment that I sent out this morning? I know I sent it out a little bit late. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. For me, I didn't get it. Sure. Okay, well, enough people have it, right? Do our staff have it? It's on Google Classroom. I'm pulling it up right now. Okay, and Yvonne, I... you have it. Let me see here. <clears throat> I can't hear you, Yvonne. You have to unmute. Did you send it to the the email, or did you have it in the Google Classroom? I have it in the Google Classroom, and I sent it to email for our three that aren't in San Juan. Go ahead, Stefan. Go ahead, Stefan. I can't hear you. Does he need to disconnect and reconnect? It's called how should I act. Oh. No. Is it called how should I act? Yeah, I actually changed it a tiny bit. It's called, yesterday it was called how do I act. This one's called how do I re, or how do you, how do I react? Part two. Okay, so this isn't a paper you have to turn in. It's just something that we're doing together in small groups. Jerry, I didn't get it. I sent it to you this morning. I actually sent the email out before I did classroom today. I usually do it the opposite. So how many of you have it? I have it. You see by raising your hands how many have it. Okay. Um, I don't think I have it. 
I don't have cards. Two minutes later than normal. Stefan, you're still trying to say something. Go ahead. <clears throat> Stefan? Mine says, how should you mark? Oh, I'm not hearing you very good, guy. How hey, should said, Something about his says something you should, and then he cut out. Mine says, how should you act? Question mark. That's yesterday. So the new one is how should you react part two? Oh, I did not get that. <laughs> if our, as long as our staff can have it. So, John, you don't see it? John, I don't hear you. Uh, I don't see it. Sherry, I just put it up. Look at how good you are. Woo -woo. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, Maybe you want to take a picture of it or something, because I do want to send you in small groups. Now, when we did this yesterday and you had 15 minutes of question, was that too much time or the right amount of time? Can you put too it back much? up? I have to still have to take a picture of it. I think it's oh, a good sorry. amount of time. It's okay. You want me to, I can email it to you. Or yeah, why don't you do that? That would be better. Um, let me make sure I have your email. Yvonne, do you have it? Yeah, can I have a second to print it up? His sure. email's on the screen right now. Okay. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> that's not, that's not my professional email. So oh, okay. let, me, let me put it in chat real quick. Um, where I still got to change that. Natasha, we're missing down here, right? Natasha, Nathan? It, says, it says Natasha left. Well, I, I see. Oh, there she is. I see her. Where? Where is hmm. Natasha? Right She's next on to the bottom of my screen. All right. Hi, Natasha. Couldn't see you for a bit there. You freezing today? Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm just kind of having. No, I'm having issues with my um, Wi-Fi. Your technology. I'm using today. I keep getting kicked out. Okay, I'm sorry about that. So the question I was asking, do you think 15 minutes was the right amount of time or too much time per question? 15 minutes per question? That's what we did yesterday. When It depends on how, yeah. Okay, so I'm just saying it depends. what do you think? Sue? I thought it was too long. Okay, so 10 minutes of question. Go ahead, Sam. You gotta unmute. Sam. I didn't say anything. Anybody get that? You're fading? She said she didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Well, I see your hand up there, but it looks like you might be frozen. Andrew, do you have something to say? No, Sue said it for me. Okay. All right. So we'll do 10 minutes of question, all right? <laughs> right now it's 9.13. You know it's going to take me like at least two minutes. So I'll pull you back in at 9.45. Okay? All right. And let me... Um, do, do, do. Let me get to the teams. So let me see how many people I have in here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to have two threes and a one again. And I started to write it. I mean, two threes and a four. So there's a three. There's a three. All right. Let me do this part. And then we'll all come back and talk, okay? All right. All right. I got it now. Thanks, Sue. You're welcome. Out room. Sorry, everyone. I, I wish I could have these all set up. <laughs> there is Nathan not coming today. Nathan's not coming today. Okay. Okay.
Jordan, are you on your phone now? Yes. It's nice that we can hear you. Thank you. You're welcome. We can hear you loud and clear now. Um, Sherry? That light is kind of bright. Can you tilt your phone in a different way? Wait, yeah. I'm just... Um, Maybe scoot sorry. over to your right a little more. Did something wrong here. Oh there you God. go. <laughs> hey, I when I'm trying to do this. Sorry. Perfect. Thank you. One, two, one, two. I don't know why I have so many left for this last room. Yvonne, I'm sorry to say, because I can't go back and add them. You're going to have a lot of Sorry. I don't know what I did. I I'm going to have what? You're going to have a larger group because you're the last room I'm assigning here and I can't add people to the other ones. Okay. Here we go. Bye. Hello. 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 Jordan, you're on your side. Your screen is tilted. <laughs> How's everybody? Good. Awesome. Jordan, you're still tilted. Um, <laughs> you're still on your side. <laughs> okay, there you go. The cool, okay. thing, the cool thing about having a pop socket is, is when is when you need to fix your phone and keep it steady, you, the pop socket just helps you. That's good. I need one of those actually. <laughs> All right, so let's go over. Uh, I'm drunk. How should you react, part two? You eat lunch every day. Oh, actually I'm gonna have a reader, right? So who wants I to read? That. I'm Natasha? To okay. I don't and then, uh, Tyler, do you want to keep notes? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm Perfect. trying to see something really that would be helpful. I don't have the assignment. I don't think it's been sent to me yet. So. Oh, you don't have it? I don't have it sent to me either, Natasha. Well, Jerry says she sent um, it, but it has not popped up. Here, let me, let me forward it to you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Tyler, you have it, right? Yeah, I have it. Okay. All right, I sent it to both of you. <laughs> Let me know when you see it, Natasha, okay? Okay. Sorry about the light, but the door's right there. I see it. Uh, it's better now. Thank you. Hmm. So I could read it if you'd want to read it out loud. Whenever she's ready. Jordan, where are you at? I was I was trying to see if I got it. Oh, okay. Okay, who has it? Jordan, Natasha, you guys have it? I don't. Yeah, I I looked. It. It, Natasha does, but I looked, and it's not showing up. I don't know what it is, but... That's but okay, as long as Natasha has it, I guess. For yeah. now. I can send it to her. Here. Let me just uh, forward it to her. <laughs> Jordan, where are you going? Uh, Just tell me if you have to get up, okay? Okay. Owie. Make sure to say, hey, John, I have to get something real quick. Yeah. I Push that stuff. 
What's, uh, what's the status? Do you have it? Mm, I just sent it to her. Not okay. yet, but I tilted it this way because the way it was faced was it it looked it felt like you guys kept looking at the ceiling. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay, Natasha, what's up? Uh, I'm just I'm waiting for when everyone's ready. I'll read it when Oh we're ready. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and read it. Take it away. You eat lunch every day with some coworkers. They often complain about the supervisor and several other coworkers. You are uncomfortable with the conversation and you are usually remain quiet, but up but a couple of your other coworkers try to draw you into the conversation. One of the coworkers is known to repeat everything she hears. What should you do? I mean, my opinion is if they're trying to draw you in, you should walk away. And if they continually try to draw you in, you should go, uh, you should not, the one that repeats everything, you shouldn't really say anything around them because you never mm. know if they could go repeat it to the boss. Yeah, exactly. Right. Mm hmm. So in that situation, you definitely don't want to be involved, right? So yeah, yeah. If you know somebody has a tendency to repeat things, then stay clear of that person. <laughs> the thing about drama is it'll get or gossip. It'll get back to the boss, right? Mm -hmm. Somehow yeah. somebody's gonna find out you were talking about the boss, and then it'll get back. It'll get back to you. Yeah. What do you think, Tyler? Yeah, I was just gonna say something. Too. Um, yeah, I, I would just um, avoid the situation. Yeah. Do you want to make a note of that? Well, do I put that under initial reaction or, or second thoughts? Um, you can do initial reaction. Okay. Maybe do initial reaction is um, <clears throat> just kind of stay away from drama. Okay. And then maybe you can put your second thought would be um, you shouldn't say anything around somebody that's going to repeat what you said. All right. You what do you think, Natasha? What was your take on it? Uh, I would say just, uh, I would probably not try to get in, into the situation, just focus on what I have to do. Yeah, it's better not to even get into a conversation like that. All right, we're good. We can move on to the next one. Okay. So, it's Friday. Uh, oh, go ahead. Yeah, if you want to read it, you can go ahead. Anyone else want no, to? No, go ahead. I, I'm to? sorry. I just forgot, but you can read it. It's okay. It's Friday afternoon, and you are about to finish lunch in a very large filling job you have been working on for several days. You know that if you work efficiently, you will be finishing about one hour before quitting time. However, if you move slowly, you will not have to start a new project. If you start the project, you are worried that you that you may be asked to stay late. What should you do? So um, it says very large filing job. Oh, filing job. Yeah. I missed that. I'm okay, why don't you guys raise your hands? Who has a comment? Who would like to comment on that first? Jordan. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't see your hands. <laughs> okay, Tyler. 
So I, I think it's best to communicate with your boss and say, um, I can't work late because I have something else going on. Um, but if not, then it'd be best to just do your work late because you get paid for it and it's part of your job. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of, it's not very productive to think, well, if I work slow, then I won't have to do so much. I mean, you're, if you work slow, you're going to have more to do, right? It's going to take longer. If you work fast, you'll get more done. You might have to do another project, but you'll still be working the same amount of time. Go ahead, Jordan. Um, uh, for me... I mean, I agree with Tyler's where you need to get your work done unless you have something to do. You can tell your boss, hey, I can't work late. I have something to do. Yeah, and, and even if it doesn't even say the boss will ask you to stay late, like you're it, at that point, it says you're worried that you might be asked to be, to, be asked to stay late. But it's kind of, it's not something that's actually happening. It's something that you're just worried about, right? Go ahead, Natasha. I would say it depends on the situation. That's what I think. You, If you have to see that, you can tell the boss. But also, it depends on the situation because you're worrying about it. Yeah. Because you would have to, you also have to work really fast when you, so that's what I'm saying. Also, time management, right? I mean, you need to manage your time. I would definitely... Yeah, um, yeah I was about to say that too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you don't want to work late, then um, work efficiently, like it said. It says that you know that if you work more efficiently, you will be finished about an hour before quitting time. So... If you worked efficiently, you'd have that hour. You'd have a whole hour to start a new project. Um, but you know what? It's better to do that because then you're ahead, right? Yeah, usually if you um, work ahead, it's better to do your task ahead of time. Yeah, I mean, if you if you can work efficiently and get the job done, then don't you think your boss is going to like that? Yeah. It's going to look good, right? Like you're going to look good because you got a lot done. And then you'll be able to start the project. And then you'll be more ahead when you come back tomorrow. Can you guys think of like a situation where that happened to you? Can you think of a situation where you were... Um, Maybe you weren't done with a project. Go ahead, Natasha. Um, usually when I'm trying to do my assignments, sometimes I try to get my appointments um, within the schedule. And sometimes I can't get them done on time. So I usually do it at night. So that's kind of what happens. Yeah. I'm trying to say it's just an example. You do that. Because I, I try to do my appointments at a random time. Yeah, go ahead. Ask. Sorry. For oh, no worries. I'll wait till you finish. I'm done. You're about to say something. Okay. Um, that's good. You like to get stuff done. Go ahead, Tyler. I'm not sure what to put for initial reaction. Uh, well, maybe you can put um, working efficiently. Okay. See, working efficiently and getting the job done is always the best option. Okay. Let me know when you're done with that, and then I can give you the second yeah. thoughts. Number 
Yeah, I, I got yeah. that. Yeah, just take your guys' time. Do you got your second thought? Okay. Oh, you got, did you just do your, your initial reaction? Yeah. Okay. So, um, I guess, I mean, your second thoughts could be, um, um, I think second thoughts could your, be your opinion, maybe. Your yeah. boss might not even ask you to stay late, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay. That is opinion. Huh. I don't know what happened to my hair right here. <laughs> Usually in jobs I've encountered, I've encountered this is that they don't usually have you stay late. You just start first thing the next day, you know. You just start where you left off the next day. Okay, um, Natasha, you want to read number three, please? Yeah, I can read number three. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> you were bought. You bought two uniforms when. You are hired that you always, that the way you always can have them cleaned and ready at all times. A coworker stays out late with friends and didn't feel like washing her uniform. She asked if she can borrow your spare uniform. What should you do? Um, well, what do you think? Oh, what do I think? I would yeah. probably say no. Right? Well, I don't know where, why she would ask for the uniform. That sounds really weird. Well... I mean, first of all, you should never loan anything to anybody for, right? Because, I, I mean, what I've learned is you if you let somebody borrow something, the chance of you getting it back is really slim. <laughs> what do you guys think about it? What else? Um, I was going to say... Huh. Thanks, Natasha. You can go ahead. Um, Jordan, what do you think about it? Um, when you buy two uniforms, when you get hired, that's like good, but um, unless you don't need them. Well, I mean, this girl, she said she stayed out late with friends. It didn't feel like. Well, she said she didn't feel like washing her uniform, right? Okay, so, that's, that's definitely a no-go. That's definitely yeah. a no-no with the whole staying out with friends and then not feeling like it. Because cause what, she, what Sherry would do, if we stayed out with friends and then we just decided we didn't want to wash our uniform, Sherry, Sherry would get mad at us. She'd be like, uh... Just because you stayed out with friends does not mean you can just decide, I don't want to wash it. Yeah, I mean, if it was like, maybe if it was like a mer an emergency, you know, where she, her, her uniform, her, her uniform got ruined or something, maybe I would let somebody borrow it. But the fact that she was being irresponsible and she just didn't feel like it. No. Right. I would tell her, oh, just go wash yours. You know, like it's not, it's not a big deal. Natasha? I wouldn't even respond to her. Probably ignore her. It's not res responsibility. Yeah. That's all well, the fact is, is that you're sacrificing your cleanliness, right? Like if you want to have a clean uniform, so you're what you're doing is if you give her your uniform, you're the you're running the possibility of going to work with a dirty uniform, you know, with no extra uniform. 
Thanks, Natasha. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna ask uh, Kyle. Um, I'm gonna ask Tyler. What do you think? Oh. Tyler, what do you have so far? I saw that you were typing there. Yeah, I I think that you shouldn't loan anything that it, you have at at work because it, you don't know if you're gonna get it back or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, if you ever let someone borrow something. Mhm. Mm and did you get it back right away? No, sometimes you have to beg for it back. Yeah, so. Because sometimes you let them borrow it, and then they think, oh, because you let me borrow it, I can have it. Like, no. I said borrow. I didn't say keep. Yeah, I've never, whenever I've let somebody borrow something, it's like you, you're almost guaranteed to not get it back, and you know. So we got your initial reaction. What do you have for that, uh, Tyler? I put no. <laughs> do you want to expand on that? Yeah, sure. Say why? Yeah. Because, and then. Yeah. What you just said a second ago, you should write that. Yeah. Go ahead, Natasha. I was going to say something to um, Tyler and Jordan. Your ideas are really good. Thank you. Thank you. It's really nice of you, Natasha. Thank you. You're welcome. That's what keeps everybody working as a team, right? Giving little compliments once in a while. All right, Tyler, let me know when you're done. Yeah, I finished. You got your um, initial reaction. What about your second reaction? Um, uh, for that, what about your I, second thoughts? I put never loan anything you have at work. Yeah. Especially when it's somebody that's irresponsible. Yeah. Right? I think they gave us 30 minutes. They gave us 10 minutes to eat for each question. question. Uh, 9.45, I think, is when it ends. So we have like five, six, seven, eight more minutes. Oh, okay. You guys want to talk about anything else? Have you guys, you guys have to wear uniforms, obviously. Yeah. Right? Yep. So, I mean,. I mean, it's fun wearing uniforms, but at the same time, it's like when the comfort of our house. So, so to me, it's like, okay, this is fun, but I'm mm -hmm. home. So who's going to see this? Uh, well, Sherry can see it. Um, you know, even though you're at home, you, it's still, you're still participating in project search. So um you still have to wear your your uniform and, yeah. and all that right except, so. we have to wear our uniform except on fridays that's the yeah. day where we can wear whatever we want yeah that's pretty cool natasha go ahead i was going to say about the uniform i i like to wear it it's it's you should wear it because it's professional yeah. If you don't, it'll look good. But sometimes yeah. there's sometimes sometimes you can't always wear it all the time. You know, when off Zoom, I have to, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah, I know that when I get ready for work and I'm I dress nice, put on a collared shirt and all that, it doesn't make me feel good. You know, I feel professional, mm. I feel responsible, I feel ready for work. <clears throat> uh, there's definitely a confidence you get from dressing professionally. <clears throat> Anyone else? Do you, do you guys like wearing uniforms? Yeah. Thanks, Natasha. I heard your comment. Let's hear from Tyler, uh, Tyler and Jordan. I like wearing them because it 
it makes us feel like we're professional. Yeah. Does it give you confidence? Yes. And I like and I like the colors of the uniform: blue, purple, and red. Yeah. What do you think, Tyler? Do you like wearing a uniform? Yeah. Does it make you feel more professional or, and prepared for the day? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It makes you feel better than just wearing a t-shirt, right? Yeah. Because you're kind of like, well, I'm wearing a t-shirt. I don't really look that professional, you know? Yeah. Hi, Sherry. Hi. Hello. Just checking in. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, well, we're just wrapping up. We're just talking about uniforms and uh, how uniforms make us feel professional and look professional when we wear them. Good, good. So you answered all your questions? Yes. If somebody's ready to discuss them when we come back in? Yeah, we're prepared. Okay. Well, I'll <laughs> see you in four minutes. All right. Bye. See ya. I'm like, I don't know about you guys, you guys, but you're, I have four squares, and then all of a sudden it shrunk, and then I saw Sherry on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the reason I knew I see she her was name there, pop up for a second. Go ahead. The reason I knew, the reason I knew she was there is because on the top, it, it said, Sherry Studebaker joined, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> or Sherry says, like, Sherry is entering the meeting or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're. T are you talking about the? She's editing the document. Mm, yeah, when she's editing, or when I, or since I'm using my phone, on the top of the screen, it would tell me when someone joined or left, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird because remember we were editing your con your document, and then we saw Sherry's little uh, cursor pop up, and it was like correcting things. <laughs> I think she saw my cursor. She saw that I was editing it too. So then she was like, oh, okay. And she, she, she left when she saw that I was doing it. What is that? Set up straight. And then I'll just trim it. How's your leg doing, Natasha? You feeling better? Probably, we're probably going oh, to can't really, go back. Can't second. really bend it. Has this week kind of dragged by for you guys, or do you think this week's gone by fast? I um, feel like I feel like the week goes by. I feel like the week goes by fast, and then the weekend goes by fast. <laughs> Sunday should be slow. I know, right? You're like, really? I know. Like, I feel like the like, weekend really? goes by fast. You're like, really? The whole week goes by fast, and then Sunday hits, and it's just like, oh, we're going to go by slow. Like, really? Yeah. I wish it would go slow when it hits Sunday. <laughs> we have one. I don't want it to go. I don't want Sunday to go fast. That's yeah. for sure. We have one minute left. I should know two because right. it's nine forty-four. Anybody want to say anything within one minute? Tomorrow is my birthday. Oh, oh really? Birthday, we'll have, we'll have a birthday. We'll probably tell you tomorrow. Yeah. We'll probably sing you a song tomorrow. How old are you gonna be? Twenty-one. Oh wow! Well, congratulations. <laughs> Leave break room. All right, I'm gonna yeah, click it. Okay. All right, I'll click it too. All right. <laughs> it was nap time two hours ago. <laughs> Looks like they're waiting for a group or two to come back in. Mm. 
Mm. I like the breakout rooms. It's kind of yeah. cool. I like that I knew how to get in them and out of them and put people in them. Except I messed yeah. up this morning. Yvonne had what? Yeah. Do you feel like Zoom feel is like kind of weird? Like you're talking to people, but you don't feel like you're actually like the like nervous. Physically. Like I feel way less nervous talking on Zoom than I do in a real crowd. Well, maybe this is a good way for everyone to get to know each other then before we go back live. Yeah. I guess we're just waiting. I guess we're waiting on two groups. We shut them all down. Is the fun sleep? No, I'm not asleep. Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you out. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. Do you need to take another day? No. I'm okay, fine. then we can't. We kind of need you with us then, because you can't sit in a meeting like, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. I understand you're upset, right? And if you're not ready to come back, that's okay. But if you are ready to come back, then you need to be back, okay? Sorry. I know we all, you know, I know you have things on your mind. That's where we got the separa separation. No, Hi, Vaughn. Hello. I'm sorry, Stefan. I forgot that you were having a hard time today. I hope you get better, buddy. Hey, it's fine. Thank you. Yep. And we lost Natasha again? Hmm, we had her. Where's she at? I don't know. Maybe she didn't. She oh, there she is. Where? I see it in. I see a, an orange box. Yeah, mm. that's not Natasha, though. <laughs> that's <an> orange. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I don't count those boxes as people. Yeah. Mean. There she is. Okay. So, let's talk about it. Question number one: Do you want me to read it, or you want to just talk about it? Read talk it. About it. Oh. Okay, I'll read it. You eat lunch every day with some of your coworkers. They often complain about the supervisor and several other coworkers. You are uncomfortable with the conversation and usually remain quiet. But a couple of your coworkers lunch by myself because it would make me be uncomfortable to sit by them. Okay. Who else has comments? Come on, silent class. All right. Voice I see has his hand up. Okay. I saw Jordan, and then I saw Natasha, and then I see Royce, and then I see Clad. Go ahead, Jordan. Um, I would say that you should walk away and be careful of what you say around the one that gossip, that that repeats what you say, because you never know if they could go repeat it to your boss. Yes, they could. Okay, Natasha? I want to avoid the situation. You would avoid it, okay, Royce? I, I, I will ignore it and do not be a part of it for any reason at all. Uh -huh. Sad. I want to hear the juicy tidbits. Oops. I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong, but it's human. Re it's, okay. To be fair, it is human reaction for a person to want to hear something that is going on. I know it's not good, but that's that would be my initial reaction. Okay. So, what would be your second thought? My second thought would be would be something like, like I know it was it's wrong, <clears throat> and I probably wouldn't want to do that normally. Okay. Or as so, often as I'd like to. So Roy should ignore it. Clad wants in on the action. <laughs> Put in the Natasha and, and Stefan, they're going to walk away or they're going to sit there and deal with it. You know, that's only some of your coworkers, right? It doesn't necessarily mean by making that right decision that you have to eat alone. But maybe you make friends with some other coworkers that are so gossipy. Okay. All right. Anybody else on question one? Y'all good? Eleanor, are you staying focused with us? 
I see you moving around a lot. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. All right, we're ready to go on to the next one? All right, yes. Okay, it is Friday afternoon and you're about to finish a very large filing job you've been working on for several days. You know that if you work efficiently, you will be finished about one hour before quitting time. However, if you move slowly, you will not have to start a new project. If you start the new project, you're worried that you may be asked to stay late. What should you do? Go ahead, Stefan. I would just get it done. Not as fast as I can, but I would just get it done as efficient. And if I really need to, I would ask for help. Okay. Andrew? I, I would agree with um, Stefan. Can I hear your words, please? I, I would get it done. Oh, oh, okay. All right, hold on. Royce, I'm so sorry. I forgot to call on you last time. Can you want to give your answer? To, did I forget last time? No. Oh, okay. I got it. All right, Royce, go ahead. I would do the work at, in a normal place so I don't, so I can't slow it down so I can leave. So I can leave. I'm wondering work. I'm wondering work. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to get extra work or not. I just want to do my work. And just, just, yeah. Great answer. That's the answer of a great employee. Eleanor, did you have your hand up? Um, no. Well, sit still, and I'm going to ask you this question, and I want you to answer it, okay? Okay, okay, I'm in. So listen up. It's Friday. It's the last day of your work week. You've been working hard all week on this big project. Okay? Uh -huh. So are you going to keep working at your fast pace and get it done and maybe get a new assignment? Or are you going to like go slow so you don't have to get another assignment? Um, buddy. What's that? Um, all right. <laughs> Bye. Uh, so. You're gonna go slow. Um. Yeah. Anybody get that? I thought I heard her say fast, and then I heard her say slow. So I'm not sure which one she was picking. So Eleanor, are you gonna go <clears throat> or slow? Bye. Fast. fast. Good answer. All right, Sam. I'm not just going by hands up right now because I see the same hands every time. Go ahead. Uh, I'll take my time, finish the project. It just depends what kind of project is it. What, the next project? So how many of you it just depends what kind of project you're working on. Okay, how many people agree with Sam to take their time and go slow? Stefan, let's hear from you. And no, no, I, no, I was just agreeing with her. You're agreeing that you would go slow? No, I was just agreeing. That you would go slow? Okay, I saw Jordan next, and I'll call yeah. you Andrew. Um, I agree with Sam that you need to take your time and go slow instead of rushing through it. Even not, if you, but hold on, Jordan. They're not asking you to rush through. If you go at your normal pace that you've been going, you could be finished an hour before you get off work. So the question is, are you going to go slow so that you don't have to do another, start another job? Or are you going to work at your normal pace, knowing that you're going to finish an hour early? I'd work at my normal pace, knowing that I'm going to finish an hour early. And then that means <coughs> you might have to start something new, correct? Yes. Okay. Natasha? Oh, sorry, Andrew. I'll come to you next. Go ahead, Natasha. Um, my answer was work on task ahead of time. And then the second thing I said, it depends on 
the time because you have to manage the time. Okay. That's and what I said for that one. I would say um, for me, I would since I'm pretty good at multiple tasks, I would, I would say going fast. Well, your regular pace. They're not asking you to pick up the pace. What they're saying True. is you, your regular pace, you'll be finished an hour early. So the question is, do you slow down and milk it, or do you get it done and start on what you need to start next? Go ahead, Clad. I think that normal pace sounds like a really much sounds it sounds like an overall good thing compared to the slower, more procrastinating option. I'm not a fan of that when it comes to work. Okay, Tyler? Uh, working efficiently is always the best option. <laughs> I love your answer. That's a man that gets a promotion right there. Okay, John. What did he say, Sherry? Go ahead and say it again, Tyler. Uh, working efficiently is the best option. So he's not going to slow down so he can melt the clock for that last hour. Okay. Anybody else have a comment on that? Where'd Jonathan go? Oh, there he is. Jonathan. Jonathan. This question's for you, and I would I like know. you to answer it, okay? It's Friday. It's your last That's day of the that. week working. <sighs> If you work efficiently, you can finish your project and might need to start a new one. Or you could work slow and milk it, and then you don't have to start a new job. What would you do? Go fast. No. Okay, so they're not asking you to, to increase your speed, right? I mean, we don't want to go too fast at work because then... You know, like in our next unit, we talk about safety, more accidents can happen if you try to go too fast. But you do want to keep your pace up and milking it. Meat. Really, you're robbing the company, okay? You're robbing the company by an hour if you slow down your pace just so you don't have to start something else. And say, like with our, what, 15 people in here? Hold on, Stefan, I'll call you. Say we have 15 people in here, and they all chose to slow it down and do nothing for the last hour, that's 15 hours of cost to the company, right? And say you make at least at least $15 an hour, I mean, you're costing the company like $200 a day. So is that the kind of person that gets promoted? Oh, nope. nope. I see Andrew shaking his head no. Eleanor, are we bothering you, my dear? No, you're frozen. All right, Stefan, you had something to say. Stefan? I was going to ask if I can help you explain it to, jo to Jonathan, but it seems like you already explained it. No. Okay. Um, so you're all right then, Stefan? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Anyway, uh, see, I have not heard a word from Sir Devin. I would say. Okay. You could say what? I would say, I would say I would finish the work on your normal page instead of going fast. Because going fast was was not the right time to fit to get the project finished. Okay, but how about would you go really slow so you didn't have to start something else? I would go slow. You would go slow, or would you go your regular pace? Um, regular. Okay. All right. Anyone else on that one? Let's go to our last one, then. Okay. You bought two uniforms when you were hired. That way you can always have a clean uniform ready at all times. A coworker stayed out late with friends and did not feel like washing her uniform. She asked to borrow your spare uniform. What should you do? Go ahead, Stefan. I would say no, 
because it's not our responsibility to make sure that they have their uniform. It's their responsibility to make sure that they have a uniform ready for work. Okay. And then I saw Jordan, and then I'm going to come to you, Eleanor, and then Royce. I would say no, because the way I think of it is if one of our coworkers met, stayed out and didn't feel like washing the uniform and asked us to borrow it, um, I would say no, because the boss could get mad at you for letting you, letting you, eh, letting the, having you let them borrow it. And also it's not our responsibility for, for them to wash their clothes. Okay, good. Eleanor? I would say no because we did not, we did not use, use a body shirt. Great answer, Eleanor. Royce? I say no. They need to take responsibility for their actions. Okay. And I saw Claz hand. Uh. <laughs> I was a little torn on this because on one hand, yeah, there was, of course, no, you could always not. But then there's also the case, yes, you could, but then two different things could happen. Like say, oh, you bring it to them, you give it to them, then they do, but what if they do something to it? Or if you don't, then it's their fault and they have to take responsibility for it. So I was honestly torn on that. A lot of people don't return things right after they borrow them either. Yeah, that is true. There's always that fact. So I guess I'd go with no overall, since it seems like it'd be the best, better option of the two. Go ahead, Sam. I would do it if you're going to go out after work. You should bring my to bring your clean form, you should bring an extra regular clothes that you want to go out with instead of having, so if you get that uniform dirty, like you just walk. Well, Sherry, do you need help with that? Yeah. She said that she would suggest to her friend to maybe bring a change of clothes with her when she knows that she's going out. Okay. So she doesn't have to ask to borrow a uniform. Right, Sam? Yes. Okay, so you didn't loan it to her? You just gave her advice? Mm -hmm. Give her advice. Okay. So is there anyone out there that says they would loan it to? Go ahead, Tyler. Well, I was just going to say, I would say no, because you don't know if you're going to get it back or not, like at all. Okay. It's true. And then what happens to you tomorrow when you show up at work and she's supposed to bring it back? And that could put you in a compromising position, right? Yeah. Okay. I had, I've asked this question in the past. And some people have been willing to do it one time, but said, you know, this is a one-time deal. I need it back, and I won't be able to do this again in the future. But no one agrees to that one. Good, good, okay. Um, Andrew, what would you say? <laughs> you got some background going on. I know. It's like, what? <laughs> okay, so how would you respond, Andrew? I would, I would um, not let them at all, because okay. I mean, if you don't get it back, and let's say if they stay in it or something like that, then it's pretty much on on you, because you know. Right, and they weren't supplied for you. You had to buy these two uniforms, right? You know, like how we gave you your Project Search shirts, but this company here. You have to buy your own, and that's coming straight out of your paycheck, right? I mean, if you could just go grab another one at work, it might not be such a big deal, but you have to actually buy these and keep them nice. Okay, any final comments? Going once, going twice. Okay. Um, I haven't gotten everyone's 
Bio. Student bio. When are they due? Tomorrow. 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 Okay. Are there any of you that is needing help to get that done? Um, I'm going to speak to Miss Yvonne to, today about my... Okay. And remember, you can't just turn it in. You're supposed to go over it with me before you turn it in. And I put that in the instructions, right? Yes. Okay. So just getting it in there isn't going to make it all done. Go ahead, Natasha. Um, I thought I sent it to you. Okay. I thought I sent it to you. You sent it to me privately? Oh, you sent yeah, me the box. Okay. All right. So, how many of yeah. you have turned it in? By right hand. So I see one, two, three, four, maybe five, six. Eleanor, I haven't seen yours yet. Jonathan, I have not seen yours. And Sam, do you have a question or you turned it in? I turned it in. Okay, have you have you reviewed it with me? I I uh, sent it to you so you go over it. Okay. I can check on these today and let you know. Another thing I want to say. Two of you, the teachers correct papers, okay, which we're not normally in the Zoom world, but I've never seen students reject the corrections until this year, Royce and Andrew. What is that all about? What? what? When you reject my corrections on your papers. I, I didn't reject them. I, you rejected I correct. Don and Andrew rejected them on two different assignments. I've never heard of that before. Yes, you have the right to advocate for yourselves, but that means you talk to me and you go, well, I disagree with this, and we hash it out, right? I, mean, yes. I, I accepted them um, this time. So Yeah, after you had to get in trouble over it, right? I've never <laughs> heard of that in all my days that people reject what the teacher corrects on their paper. Never heard I of it. I didn't reject them. One of them says you did, but that's okay. I mean, we, don't, we don't have to like hammer it out, but just honestly, you have the right to advocate for yourselves, okay? So if you disagree with something that I mark, then no. get a hold of me and we'll talk about it. I didn't disagree. I corrected them. I think, I'm, I, think I erased yours by accident. That, that's why I, said I rejected them. Okay, so that's how it comes back to me is that you rejected them. I've just never, ever seen that before. And I'm like, really? <laughs> and Clad, I still cannot get any of your papers. I need you to uh, get them in correctly. All right. Uh, I was wondering if you could give me a specific list of all of them or is it just all of them? All of them. Okay. <laughs> Jordan, where did you go? I'm right here. Okay, well, I keep seeing your picture come up of you and your friend. All right, does anyone need more help on tomorrow's assignment? I know, Stefan, you're getting help from Yvonne. Stefan and Yvonne. <laughs> Anybody else? Sherry, I turned the. I okay, wait yeah. a second. I didn't see a hand. I saw Eleanor's hand, though. Go ahead, Eleanor. I thought you were dead. What you did? You did turn it in with some work on it. Who's working with Eleanor today? Sue, can you possibly help her with that? I mean, she put a couple sentences in there, and um, we got to get the pictures in too. You know that. Go ahead, Sue. That's Sorry. Cool. We haven't been working on her bio at all because we've been working on her IEP and her Vogue Fit. But those are both over, right? Yeah. 
But like I'm saying, we haven't had a chance to work on her bio at all. Okay. Well, maybe it'll have to continue into next week. But um, and I know we did have focus, but both those focus things are gone now. Jordan, go ahead. I was gonna say that I turned, I corrected me and John corrected mine yesterday, and I turned it in to you. Good job. Yes, because I made corrections, and you. And you made the corrections that I suggested, so great job. By the way, Shay, do you like the picture I use? I do. That was when we went and got you your first haircut, huh? Yes. Yeah, and that was in our classroom. Even just seeing that little bit of our classroom made me happy. <laughs> Been a while. Go ahead, Natasha. Natasha? You're on mute. Yes. Um... I was wondering how many assignments I'm missing. Okay, well, um, I send them to you, right? So the way, I mean, it okay. sounds like you all want me to go in and do your research for you. Not all of you, but you're like the second or third well, clad asked that too. I don't have time to do all of that. You're all in charge of your own stuff, oh. right? And I'm happy no, to- I don't think any of that, I just- Okay. Okay. Just just Good. look at your email at, at the assignments, and I have a few of you. I really want us to work on how to get your assignments in. Um, but we can talk about that later. So we still need more lessons on getting things into Google Classroom. Eleanor, you have something? Um, no, I'm fine. Okay. Anybody else have things we should discuss? We still have eight minutes. I see Tyler. I was wondering, since I didn't see it on the Google Classroom, is there any journal prompt for today? No. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. I just, that's why I have us doing these assignments in class, because I know you have two big assignments coming up due, right? Like there's one tomorrow, and then there's one next Friday. And so that's why I did this, to give you more time to work on that. Okay, although I don't know what we're going to talk about in our class today, our afternoon class. So I don't know, we might be chatting a little bit. Um, I just thought of something else I wanted to say in it. Went out of my head. Oh, so I am hoping to introduce your email mentor assignment next week. And when we do that, you'll be responsible for one email a week. So you'll all have one email mentor. Okay? Really, really important that you do not send anything to them before you review it with me, okay? Because these are professional people out there in the world, and we just want to make sure I work on it with staff, but I still want to once over before you send it, okay? I'll get everything ready this weekend and we'll roll it out on Monday, all right? Okay. Anything else you can think of here? I have a question. Um, yeah, hand raise. Go ahead, Jordan. Um, it since we since we um had early out yesterday on Wednesday, are we still gonna have early out tomorrow too? Yeah, Wednesday. That's just the way. I mean, you still work with John. Yes. Yes, you didn't really have early out. Early out is a minimum day that when we're at work, we don't use this minimum day that Royal Rough does, but because we're right now in these boxes, we're using it, okay? And then tomorrow, it's just on Friday afternoon that we're no longer having our, our Zoom end of the day meeting. Okay. Everyone, well, everyone that was here that day voted for that. Okay, so Eleanor, remember tomorrow afternoon at 2.20, there's not a there's not a meeting that there is today, okay? Okay. Jonathan, I think we need to help Jonathan learn the order of the phone numbers because he's accidentally calling me every day, which I <laughs> who's Jonathan with this time? You, Yvonne? Yeah. So let's just make sure. Um, like I know with Tony, right? I, I put them in order. I'm like, all right, this one's your dad's. This one's me, and we really, I know you can't do that physically, but I think Jonathan might need a little bit more help that he's calling the right phone number. 
right, Jonathan? He's like, it's an accident. I didn't want to call you. He's like, oh, you again. <laughs> so anyone else not making their meetings? Mm. Um, Stefan, go ahead. I was going to ask uh, Miss Sue, she could just send me the new meeting ID so I don't uh, miss it. I'm just asking if she can. Or try you need to. me to resend it to you, Stefan? Yes, because the one that I'm meeting for some reason won't work. Yeah, I, I can resend it to you. Not a problem. Okay, and we do want you all to be independent, but staff at the same time, if they're not getting a hold of you, please reach out to them and not just go, mm -hmm. oh, well, they didn't call. <clears throat> I usually wait. Go ahead, John. I usually wait five minutes and then I call them after five minutes. That's a good idea. I mean, some people <clears throat> are more independent at this point and some are for less. So, yes, we mm -hmm. want you all to make the phone calls or to log in. But if you have a problem and you can't get in, then I think that's why we have staff for support. Okay? Yeah. And if you can't get in, you know, just text one of us. Be like, hey, I'm having a problem. Because then we don't, we're, we're thinking, oh, you're late because you were being lazy, you know. But if you just let us know that you're having an issue, we'll be more lenient, you know. I don't always necessarily think that they're being lazy. I think that... Okay. Oh, right, yeah. Jonathan, can you have a seat? Jonathan, have a seat. You have three minutes. Thank you. You take your medication after this, okay? All right. I think we're done? Mm-hmm. I think so, too. I'll see you all this afternoon. If you're having problems with your assignment, please let me know. If you think it's done, right. please send it to me. And look at your corrections, okay? I will, I will make corrections today and tomorrow, but if you don't look at them, then you're not going to see them to correct them. Right? Okay. Right. All right. See you all later. All right. See you, Sherry. Bye. Adios. Uh Oh, Adios, amigos. Uh, Mr. Bomb, will you have time? Just, just call me.